Hey you guys, it's Kaylee. I'm back with another Goodwill bins or Goodwill outlet haul. We're going to dive right in. I paid $1.59 per pound for these items. Usually that averages to between a dollar and a dollar ten per item is usually where I fall once I look at my receipt and divide by the number of items that I have. And I go to the bins because it is so cheap and I can find a ton of items. The goal is not to get, I mean that it, it is always the goal to get a higher average sale price um, for your items. However, at the bins, that's not necessarily what I'm looking for. I kind of expect that I'm going to get some more bread and butter items, but I'm going to find a ton of it. However, I do try to stick to my high sell through rate rule, which is as much are as available are as much as have sold. I think I said that wrong, but I consider that a 100% sell through rate. Um, and eBay shows the last 90 days. So what I do is if they're close to that number, I consider that a 100% sell through rate that will sell within three months, if that makes sense. Got a video about how to check the sell through rate and what all that means up here. Some people calculate it differently, but that's how I calculate it. So even though I am at the bins getting lower priced items, and even though it is cheap, I am still trying to stick to a high sell through rate model. And I highly suggest that you guys do the same. Some more rapid fire because we got a lot. This is an American Eagle uh, women's favorite tank. This is just that super soft material. Probably get 10 to 15 for that. I might keep that though because it's really soft. This is random, but these are a pair of sheets. <laughs> I do really good with vintage sheets. Um, I did have to wash this one, but I'm pretty sure the spot came out. But these are... I honestly don't remember what this says. B... Clyben, I think is what it says. So what I did is I looked at B. Clyben cat uh, sheets. Turns out that they are vintage. I think, oh, here's the date. I knew there was a date on here somewhere. 1980s. And there wasn't a ton listed, but as much as were listed had sold. Um, apparently I did not get the spot out. We'll still list it nonetheless. But I did pick this up at the bins. You know what? There's still a couple stains on it. I don't know if I'm going to list it, but had it not have stains, this is my first time seeing it after washing it, um, I would have had, a, huh, I would have expected this to probably sell for between 25 and 30. Don't pass on sheets, especially when you see um, the dating on them. I've done really well with vintage sheets, um, but I think that, I don't know, I might not sell this one. Wow, we're off to a great start. One that I will sell and one that I won't. Uh, next up is We The Free. My sister and I, if you watch that, um, like Dan Life video I just did where my sister was in it, we went to the bins and we did go to the new bins. And right before I left, I started digging into a new bin with like five minutes until I had to absolutely leave. I was finding a bunch of free people and I was so sad I had to leave because I'm pretty sure there was a ton more free people in there. This is a really nice embroidered, like, I don't know, crop top. I really like the denim detail with the embroidery. Once again, I will look up the number in here. Let's see if it has one. This one has the GB number, which I have less luck with um, when I'm searching things on Google. Uh, but nonetheless, I'll see if I can find it. Google Lens is also a great tool to use. It's um, an app and you basically take a picture of the item. I can actually hold this up and take a screenshot and it would probably find it. Um, but that's what I've been doing to find the style name of a lot of these items. If I can't use the style number is I will take Google Lens and take a picture of it. And usually it honestly comes up with the style name. This definitely has some stands, but I will still list this one. This is a men's Lululemon white t-shirt. And there are a few faint stains. I also wash this and try to get out, but no luck. So I'll just include that in the price. Here is the label. Um, this one I washed and pretty much everything came out. This is Polo by Ralph Lauren. Um, this was an extra large. Now I'm not gonna lie, this was a men's and I think I shrunk it <laughs> by washing it, but 
I had to try because it was like a last resort. And again, I got it at the bins, so even if it didn't come out, it was fine. Um, but this is an Argyle sweater, cable knit, vintage. Argyle does well in vintage stuff. Argyle's just the diamonds. And so what I'm gonna do is just list this as a women's sweater now instead of a men's um, size large, or sorry, size extra large women's, and I think it'll still do well. Um, but I did notice that the vintage with the Argyle print was doing really good. Unfortunately, I did have to wash it because there was a little bit of staining um, around the neckline, which looks good now. This is an interesting brand. I honestly don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm just going to show you the tag. Nikki looked this up and saw the sell-through rate wasn't 100%, but some of the stuff that had sold that was similar to this style um, sold for like 40, 50 bucks. So we decided to get it. This is a size XXL, which helps to up the value. And it was a very log and look cardigan, long sleeve. And it has like a, I don't know, like I wanted to say waffle texture, but it's more of a rib texture and has contrast buttons. Um, but if you see that brand, again, unsure of how to pronounce it, but I would keep an eye out for it. It is a nice log and look brand and I'll make sure to put log and look in the title. This is Janie and Jack. It is a good kids brand to pick up, size four, and it's in a substantial piece like a sweatshirt. Grab that. Kids pieces, if you find them for cheap and in good brands, they're so easy to list because you can basically do a flat lay real quick. Um, not sure how much to expect for that. I'm going to guess probably like 15 to 20. It's American Eagle. It's another one of those soft tees. Probably $15 for this short sleeve, um, mock neck, striped cutout back. This is something I intend on sending to thread up. Hopefully they take it because it needs a good steam. This is Rebecca Taylor, one of those brands that retails for a lot but doesn't always resell for a lot. But on thread up, I find that they price it pretty high. This is a size six and this is a silk blouse. I am, as I mentioned in previous videos, experimenting with selling on ThreadUp and the Railroad, and so I do like um, experimenting with stuff from the bins because if they don't accept it or if I don't make that much, it's really not that much money out of my pocket. This is a J. Crew vintage cotton t-shirt. We found quite a few of these lately. This is a size small. Pretty sure I found this exact one same size in the last haul, uh, but we found another one just black. This will probably go 10 to 12. Um, but once again, because we've listed that exact style before, we can just copy the listing basically, change the size and color, add the photos, and they're done. And I really like when you can find uh, stuff to do that with. A J. Crew silk top, size 10. This is also something that I will probably send to thread up. And it's just a sleeveless button-up top with some drapey details and a tie neck. This is by Urban Outfitters. I pick up Urban Outfitters and Anthropology at the bins without usually doing a comp because it's so cheap and I can price competitively. This is a size small uh, mauve purple tank top. I might keep this one. This is pretty. I like this neutral color. Should I keep it? Nikki's not here to tell me no, so I'm gonna take it home and try it on. This is actually not a Ben's find, but it was in that bag because I had just washed it. This is an Express Y2K dress, which have been doing well for me, size 11, 12. This is a black lacy V-neck midi dress with some lace details at the bottom. Again, very Y2K and has the tie back. And the lace is pretty sheer here, which is a really nice touch, I think. Um, I don't know. I'm probably going to list this pretty high at like $40. Vintage Express like Y2K looking dresses do well for me. Just got to make sure if you have something like this, you put Y2K in your title. Okay, this is something I also had to wash. Someone at the bins straight up told me this was... 
too trash and I shouldn't get it. And I was like, you just want me to put this back so you can get it, don't you? I was just joking. <laughs> Um, this is a cool vintage single stitch, so I'll make sure to put single stitch in my title, graphic shirt. So I did soak it and most everything came out, um, but I just love the graphic front and back. Really awesome. Um, 31st annual. Okay, so this is a 90s shirt. And it's like a hillbilly 100. No idea, but the graphics are insane, so I had to get it. The only thing is someone cut like a V into this. So I might clean that up a little bit and make it a better V, or I might just list as is. Um, sometimes distressing can add value. And it is a Fruit of the Loom USA Best in a 3XL. Um, no skin off of my back because, again, we got out the bends, but I just thought that was a really cool graphic and a single stitch shirt. Probably list that one high and accept offers and just see how it does. J. Jill. Pretty good tried and true bread and butter brand for us. This is a size XL, and I'm not going to look at it, but it feels like a linen rayon blend with a front pocket. Probably 25 bucks. Another Madewell t-shirt, size extra small. This one's a nice orange peachy color. And this is a sleeveless. This will probably be um, about 15. I just found this. <laughs> it must've been in the pocket of something when I washed it and it came out because we definitely didn't get this. Don't know what this is. It's a hanky or something. Another vintage shirt that I grabbed and took a chance on and honestly it cleaned up really nice um, this is Peter Himmelman Himmelman I'm gonna guess this guy's an artist because I don't know much about him I need to do more research but I like the uh, Picasso looking painting this exact shirt sold for quite a bit on eBay I was able to find the exact comp and then there's one available which someone has listed really high uh, so what I'll do is just price mine a little lower. It should sell. No size on this, but I'm going to guess this is a size XL. Oh, there's actually dating. 1992. I didn't see that before. This is a dress by Theory. Older label for sure. Size medium. I think I might also send this to thread up as well. Um, it is just a black mini dress with some zip details definitely needs a good steam another brand that retails for a ton but doesn't always have the best sell through rate this is an eileen fisher t-shirt size extra large this definitely feels like a linen blend i don't think i've ever sold a linen blend just like t-shirt from eileen fisher so i will have to look that up and it's got a nice like Heathered look to it. Yeah, this is another thin spine. I just realized there's no size. Does it say down here? Oh, yes, it does. Size large. And I think this is a women's um, patchy, oversized American Eagle denim jacket. I couldn't say no to this because I thought it was really cool. Anything patchy, undone oversized does really well in my opinion and American Eagle is a pretty decent brand hoping for good comps on that because I just picked it up and went with it all right guys so that's it for today's haul make sure that you are subscribed and hit the notification down below if you haven't already that way you'll get notified as I post new thrift hauls I do have one more bag that I'm going to dive into right now and make another thrift haul with so stay tuned for that as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video